Can you tell us a little bit about punting and the influence of punting on your, on, on yeah. your painting? Well, how long have you? How, when did you first? When did you lay your first bet? When I was about nine. <laughs> <laughs> My father always used to drag me to the races. And I've always had uncles. I've had an uncle who was a bookmaker. Yeah. And a lot of my relatives have always owned horses, so I've always gone down since I've been little. So I've always been interested to go to the races. And that's maybe where your love of horses, as well as from George Stubbs' paintings? Is... Yeah, yeah, George Stubbs is a painter I've always admired too. But um, do you think it's influenced? Being a punter, has it influenced the, the kind of artist that you've turned out to be? Yeah, I think it has because gambling is a very immediate thing and something that happens really quickly. There's so much happening on the race day, you usually have to make very quick decisions about what horse to bet on and what odds to take. And I think I take the same risks with my painting. The main thing I like about Centennial Park is it's so huge and it's, and it's right in the middle of the city. It's just, I've never ever um, got over how big it is. And there's always, um, <coughs> there's always lots of, lots of things happening in the park. Why do I like painting animals? Um, <coughs> well, I haven't, most of the, the only animals I've been painting from the park have been, have been the horses. Because it is, it was all, I never even knew that there was horses in Centennial Park. And it was a real, real shock when, when I was just walking around the first time I was here and there's horses galloping around everywhere. And I suppose because I nearly, nearly got run over by a horse once, so I've always wanted, wanted to do them ever since that. I'm, I'm not really... Um, I come to the park and mainly I take a lot of... mainly take photos and work from the photos, but I don't really... I'm not really interested in just doing a pure, a pure landscape, as in as in that such. I like to um, to change things around a bit, and most of the paintings and views that I do aren't don't really exist as in the way they are. I just like to sort of get get a few of the basic char characteristics, and I like the paintings to be. The paintings are usually about particular things usually events events that happen like one day I was here I saw um, I saw all these boys playing with ducks they're trying to catch the ducks and it was quite um it was quite a, a lot of activity there just with the ducks flying everywhere and and these kids chasing after the ducks as far as my own work seeing my own work in relation to um, a lot that seems to be happening I definitely have I definitely think that I'm um, unfashionable as in what's in vogue with with um, group shows like Perspecta and the Biennale it's I find it hard for me to fit into their work anyway. Do you, do you feel this disadvantage is, is a disadvantage to you as an artist of not being fashion, uh, uh, painting in a fashionable style? I think it is in the immediate at present but I think basically it'll just take um, take a bit longer for me to be accepted but I'm sure um, in the long term I'll um, come to the fore. Mm. Well I think maybe being a, a painter is a bigger gamble than being a, being a punter in terms of getting a collect.